Right now, something unexplainable is happening millions of miles from Earth. A silent traveler from the edge of the galaxy, known as 3 i slash ATLAS, has done something that has left scientists speechless. It's not just behaving strangely, it's defying every known law of physics. What we're witnessing might be the most mysterious cosmic event of our generation. Before we dive deeper, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and tell me your country in the comments. I love hearing where you're watching from. It reminds us that no matter where we live on this small blue planet, we all share the same sky, the same wonder, and the same questions about the universe. Now, let's talk about three I slash ATLAS. It's an interstellar object, meaning it didn't come from our solar system. It came from somewhere far beyond, perhaps another star, perhaps another world. When it was first discovered, astronomers thought it was just another rock, maybe a comet or asteroid passing through. But that illusion didn't last long, because the more scientists looked, the less sense it made. Its trajectory defied gravity. Its spin didn't match its shape. Its light didn't fade as expected. Instead, it flickered like a pulse. And then, in what's being called one of the strangest astronomical events of the decade, 3i slash ATLAS began to accelerate. Not from gravitational pull, but as if something inside it was propelling it forward. This shouldn't be possible. According to physics, non-powered objects in space follow predictable paths. They don't suddenly change direction or speed without an external force. Yet 3i slash ATLAS broke that rule. It began behaving like it knew where it wanted to go. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the European Space Agency, even Harvard's astrophysics team all observed the same anomaly, and none of them could explain it. Harvard astronomer Dr. Elena Barlow said something that chilled the scientific community. She said, a 3i slash ATLAS doesn't move like an object. It moves like a decision. That single line sent waves through every observatory around the world. Because if something can make a decision, it means it can think or be guided. At first, researchers tried to calm public speculation. They said it could be outgassing, jets of gas pushing the object as ice evaporated from its surface. But then the problem deepened. Spectral analysis showed almost no ice at all. The material wasn't behaving like a comet or asteroid. In fact, it wasn't behaving like anything we've ever studied. It reflected light unevenly, absorbed radio waves, and emitted faint electromagnetic pulses. The frequencies were too regular to be random, almost like code. One NASA analyst described the data stream this way. It's as if someone is tapping on the universe's shoulder, waiting for us to notice. And that's exactly what's happening now. Scientists are noticing, but what they see doesn't fit any theory of natural physics. For weeks, telescopes around the world captured three I slash ATLAS glowing faintly green, then blue, then a deep golden hue. The colors pulsed in rhythm, but when computer models were applied, the pattern didn't match chemical emissions. It matched timing sequences, the kind you'd see in data packets or controlled energy bursts. Some in the scientific community now quietly whisper a possibility that sounds like science fiction. What if 3i slash ATLAS isn't a comet at all? What if it's a craft? Let's step back and think about this carefully. The odds of a natural rock from another star system entering ours are already astronomically small. The odds of it behaving in ways that mimic propulsion, coded light patterns, and self-regulation of spin are even smaller. And yet, here it is. When astronomers traced its origin, they found something even more astonishing. The trajectory suggests it came from the direction of Lyra, a region of space that contains several potentially habitable exoplanets. It didn't just drift into our solar system, it aimed for it. But then came the event that changed everything. About a week ago, the James Webb Space Telescope detected a brief but powerful burst of infrared radiation near 3i slash ATLAS. It lasted just six seconds. Six seconds of raw, focused energy, and then silence. The object stopped emitting light altogether. It went dark. The moment it did, multiple telescopes lost contact simultaneously. NASA's Deep Space Network recorded a faint echo, a low, continuous hum in the radio spectrum before it vanished completely. 
No one knows if the signal was intentional or if it was the last whisper of something shutting down. To understand why this matters, we need to remember how unprecedented this is. Space doesn't simply erase an object. When comets break apart, they leave debris. When asteroids vanish, they scatter fragments. But three I slash ATLAS left nothing. It's as though it folded itself out of existence. Harvard's theoretical physicist, Dr. Michael Kessler, said it best. It's like watching the laws of motion pause to take a breath. And that's exactly why scientists are afraid. Because if one object can break those laws, what else can? Think of the implications. If 3i slash ATLAS is artificial, then it's a message in motion, a time capsule, maybe even a piece of technology from a civilization millions of years older than ours. If it's natural, then it's evidence that the universe itself can produce matter that bends our rules of physics. In either case, it rewrites what we know about reality. But beyond the data and equations, there's something deeply emotional about this discovery. I often think of how far we've come as a species. Many of you remember the thrill of 1969, the moon landing, the static-filled voices from Apollo, the way humanity held its breath when Armstrong took that first step. That was our beginning. But now, it feels as though the universe is taking the next step toward us. 3i slash ATLAS might be the first object to tell us in its silence and strangeness that we are not alone. Inside NASA, sources suggest the agency is running advanced simulations. They're testing what could happen if 3i slash ATLAS reappears or if the hum returns. The classified nature of these models has sparked rumors that the signal might have contained encoded geometry, mathematical patterns that translate into shapes, even structures. One insider described it as a message written in physics. What could that mean? Perhaps a signature, perhaps a warning, or perhaps just a greeting written in the only language the cosmos knows, energy and pattern. When I think about it, I imagine a civilization so old, so advanced, that it no longer uses words or radio waves. Instead, it speaks through the laws of nature itself. And if 3i slash ATLAS truly defies those laws, maybe that's the point. Maybe it's showing us that our understanding of physics is still young, still local, like children trying to read the sky without knowing the alphabet of the stars. Imagine the wonder and the humility of realizing that the universe might not just contain mysteries, but intentions. And here's where it becomes even more profound. Some astronomers have noted that 3i slash ATLAS's acceleration curve mirrored something familiar. The early propulsion tests for light sails, devices that use photons or light itself to travel vast distances. Could 3i slash ATLAS be one of these? a solar sail drifting across eternity, guided by the pressure of starlight and time? If so, that means it's ancient, possibly older than humanity. It might have been launched when Earth was still covered in oceans of primordial life. And yet here it is, visiting us. Some theorists believe these objects could be part of a galactic network, probes silently drifting, gathering data, and transmitting it across star systems. Not invasions, not contact, just observation cosmic archaeology. When you think about it that way, the darkness of 3 I slash ATLAS feels less like an ending and more like a pause. Maybe it didn't disappear. Maybe it completed its mission. Perhaps it came to measure how far we've come to see if our species had learned to listen. And maybe it found what it was looking for. That's the part that gives me chills. Because every time humanity reaches a new threshold, splitting the atom, landing on the moon, creating artificial intelligence, the universe seems to whisper back, like a teacher checking in on a student. What if 3 I slash ATLAS is the latest whisper? NASA won't say, Harvard won't say, but telescopes around the world are still aimed at the last known coordinates, waiting for even a flicker of light to return. Some scientists say it might reappear when it crosses back into sunlight. Others think it's gone forever. But there's a growing sense among astronomers, almost a superstition, that 3i slash ATLAS didn't leave by accident. 
it chose to. And that leads to one haunting thought. If it can choose when to vanish, it can also choose when to return. As I look at the night sky, I can't help but wonder if right now, somewhere beyond Neptune, something is still watching us, silent, waiting, patient. Do you believe 3 i slash atlas is just a rock or something far greater? Tell me your thoughts below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with someone who still looks up at the stars with wonder. Because the truth is, physics isn't broken. It's evolving. And maybe, just maybe, 3 i slash atlas was sent to remind us that the universe doesn't follow our laws. We follow its. And someday soon, when the silence breaks again, humanity might finally learn what the cosmos has been trying to tell us since the beginning, that we are part of something far greater and the story of the stars has only just begun.